But I posted a picture the other day of me and my new chick. I'm 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 newly in a relationship. Who is offensively hot? Who is offensively offen- hot? How old is she? She's 25. Oh my god. It's just it's just all. She's a- up. She's, she's like f- way too hot. Yeah. Too Where the f- did you find her? In Miami. Yeah. At a club or so so yeah, that's kind of the f- up thing because she she's she has a past of like clubbing. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she's she we everybody has a f- past, and that's like I want to get into that. And the new red sp- red pill space. You can't. You're not allowed like no. if, yeah, yeah. Don't that's a big part. Too. Any girl who's had sex with anyone before you is now useless. That's another like new rule that the red pill space is trying to implement. The non getters are now telling you that if your girl ever f- the dude before you, then she is no good. Even one. Even one. Even one. But never mind if she gets to five or ten bodies, <laughs> then dead, she's really dead, dead, excluded. Dead. Never go anywhere near her. Yeah. <laughs> but but do you see what I'm saying? Like all of these dudes who, by the way, like your home is whether lot of them. whether who. Aiden Ross or he Aiden Ross. Yo, let me tell you this. Aiden Ross. Clout red a, pill. A, a, exactly. Him Aiden Ross. I, let me let me say some shit. I love Aiden because, and I really mean that. Like, it's not like some like fake love, like like bull. I love Aiden. That's like my little brother. Mm. And he's actually like he comes out, he hangs, he goes out, he yeah. he he can work rooms, he can be on the jet with people talking about business. He's cool. He knows his he knows his shit. Like he's he's cool in, in real life. But like, but like. Yes, dude. A lot of it is just a lot of it is just very fraudulent. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And like and like so anyway, so I, I I'm with this I'm with this girl. We just started dating. I post a picture of the of her the other day on uh Twitter. So it's only been official for a few weeks or something? Not a couple months. Okay. But uh, publicly you've been careful about how much you put out there? I think I've like tried to like keep it off the radar. Right. A little bit. Just because you having a girlfriend is like such a meme at this point that you don't really like want to like put her through the, the whirlwind hailstorm well, of being your girlfriend immediately. You want to slowly let it trickle into her life. Yeah, kind of. And also she was, oh, this is like, this is like crazy to even talk about. Because a lot of this, here's another thing that I'll say. A lot of, this is for me, one of the biggest things with social media and with creator content is that from an audience perspective, they want everything simplified mm. to its to its like easily most easily explained, you know, core idea. But the problem there is it doesn't allow for the fact of the matter, which is that life and every situation in it is complicated. Mm. Nothing is super duper binary, black and white, yeah. A and B. Where, where shit's like so easily explained. And because of the age of consumption of a lot of this red pill content, which is these, these are children. Mm. These are children. They're, they're, you know, 12 to, to 16 to 17 years old. They don't understand the complexities of this life. This, you, you guys know this as well as I do. It, it trying to, trying to, define someone by any individual characteristic is so futile. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, this isn't a one size fits all situation. So, so anyways, going back, I meet this girl in Miami. She had stepped out for a night. I meet her. I'm like, yo, that girl's like you said, like ridiculous. Bro, like you right? could actually become a serial killer <laughs> and like take out a couple of families <laughs> if it meant that you would get to like sniff her ass right but like but like dude, no, like that too much no fun? no it's fair it's it's <laughs> exactly yes and i that's what i did exactly yes so i so i meet her we like hit it off and like you know i know like contrary to the audience assumption that like the lana relationship was a fluke like i do this shit you know what i'm saying like i seen something i was like dude this is a dope chick i want to get to know her and and that's that's it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm proud of you because when I met you, you were just trying to fuck random porn stars that Lennon was friends with and shit. And I was like, oh, okay, this guy, Mike, you know, he's, he's doing his thing. But and I've then seen you kind of like ele- elevate through the game. Well, yeah. it flipped into a point where then they were trying to fuck me. Mm, and then yeah. I was actively not trying to fuck them. Right. And it, it like continued to kind of evolve to a point where it's at now where I'm like, okay, like I kind of like this idea of, and I will say this too about the, the red pill thing. It, it does have um, some some real beneficial qualities mm-hmm. because some of the stuff that these guys say, like I want to 
and I know I'm jumping all over the place. Sorry to the audience. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very um, ADHD, and I'm I'm a bit hyper today. I've been, I don't know. I got a lot on my mind, but but some of the shit that these red pill guys say actually does have merit to it, and that's mm. what that's what's a bit upsetting about it. Is it's like, like I was Tate for example. Mm -hmm. A lot of these guys are just trickle down Tates, oh, yeah. you know, TDTs. Yeah. We'll call them right, like, like, because he's not saying a lot of the more aggressive shit that he was, was saying a couple of years correct. ago. Correct, you know, correct. He kind of like he kind of like, um, as I've been saying on podcasts lately, kind of was humbled by his experience a little bit. Right. Like, yo, I can I can still do this shit, but let me just not do all that extra shit because I don't you need get thrown to. in jail. You lose all your social media. Your name gets dragged through the mud. Every single corporation in the media is writing articles about you and making hit pieces about you. Right. Uh, which is why it was kind of surprising to see somebody like Aiden Ross, who realistically a couple of years ago, the world was his oyster and he could kind of like do whatever with his superpowers, his, his new level of fame. And he kind of like chose to go in this Tate esque direction for which, a little bit which was kind of, but even now it's like he, he leans into the very offensive uh style of content which i like personally but if i were to be the one living his life i would have suggested like maybe you don't want to like push the limit like this this hard well, because it him, closed doors for you well for him certainly i mean this was a conversation that we were having all the time with aiden back when i was living with him because we had that house together right. and and i remember at the time like this was just post like Bronny and like you know like when he was just he was he was really starting to swim with like some big dogs like like and 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 by the like by the way like we were having like conversations with Brady and and he was getting on with LeBron and I was like bro this dude honestly he he's such a relatable funny quirky kind of kid that everybody kind of like with if you leave all the other dumb shit to the side mm -hmm. yo he could become the voice for the youth of like the nba like really really go after that sports you know demographic and really tackle that entire um you know gen z aspect of drawing new eyes to these to the to sports and to all of these things like he really he is as as uh rudimentary of a human as people think he is mm. he's he's funny he's relatable and he's, yeah. he's got a little bit of charisma and yeah, charm to him right he's a funny kid but he went in the other direction and i think at least short term monetarily it's it's paying off for him mm. i mean obviously by way of what he's been able to do a kick and with um, with steak and and some of the stuff he's been able to do he's making it work regardless like the streaming space and the content space has so many opportunities available right now that you can go in the most offensive direction possible and still be able to make some shit happen if you are one of the most viewed streamers on the planet and that and that's what we're seeing right yeah. and that's and that's like the question of like where this all pans out we just hit 600,000 subscribers on the clips channel right here we're trying to get to 700 so you know what to do smack that red button and subscribe. Appreciate you.